What is up everybody? It is 6.32 in the morning. Forgot to check social media before I went to bed last night, and here we are. I called this almost. <laughs> right here, you can see. <laughs> Calling it right now, Kendrick Lamar's response is going to be titled The Heart Part 6. It was Drake who did it! Who would have thought? Oh my god, and now... Oh, I just noticed this comment, by the way, <laughs> that aged really badly as well. But anyway, I am so excited um, because this basically decides the beef. I think we can all agree the best diss in the beef right now is Meet the Grams. If it's all true, Kendrick just automatically wins. And I don't think I stated that enough in that video, in my reaction video, because I was kind of like you know, denying all of it because Drake did himself on IG. So I guess we'll just see if he just continues to deny that. But I'm really looking for Drake to deny the pedophile allegations because that's like the big one. You know, everyone thinks Kendrick was just like fed false information about the daughter. And then everything about Adonis has already been said by like Pusha T and, and not all of it is true anyway. I, I feel like Drake is probably pretty present in Adonis's life and people are saying he's not. So I guess it, it all depends on how Drake bounces back. And the heart part six is crazy. You should have seen my reaction when I saw the title. I bet that reaction is arguably going to be better than this one. <laughs> so I wish you guys saw that, but I was like, no, he didn't. Six God. Oh my God. And he's the one that did it. And now Kendrick can't drop a song called the heart part six. That is insane. That already has like a big one up and then this cover art as well is insane So I feel like he's gonna continue to go with this angle, but uh, This one's five minutes <laughs> They're all pretty long. I have the closed captions on so we can read the lyrics I want to speculate myself and then if I find anything big I missed I always pin the comment below with my follow-up of a summary of what I missed. So I always recommend you look at the pinned comment, but Let's go. The Heart Part 6 by Drake. That that feels so weird <laughs> to say. All right. Oh. Already switching it. I got your fucking last tap. I swear that I'm dialed in. First I was a rat, so where's the proof of the trout in? Where's the paperwork of the cabinet is filed in? For real! Jake would have took all the walls down. The streets would have had me hiding out in a small town. My Montreal connects stand up, not far down. The ones that you get and get stories from, they are clowns. I am a war general, season in preparation. My jacket is covered in medals, honor and decoration. You waited for this moment, overcome with the desperation. Oh my god. And then we fed you the information. A daughter that's... I just, I just, I just said this. I just said this is possible. Oh my god. And, like, honestly, if you think about it, this is the only thing you can possibly do to stay in the beef. Because, like, if what Kendrick said is true, like, it's just over. Like I said. Oh my god, if that's true, that's crazy. Like, Kendrick's just telling empty lies without anything to back it up. You could say the same thing about Drake. So, like, he could be denying all of it just because. And it might actually be true still. So I'm not going to 100% believe this either. But, but, like... Oh my god. His flow right here is crazy. When he was talking about, like, the C's in general, I got medals. You know, that, that was crazy. I feel like Drake has a much more serious tone in this one. And I did just want to say really quick before we start again, like, Kendrick does seem, like, pretty thirsty and desperate. And that's kind of what has pushed me off of Kendrick, like, quite a bit. I, I went into the beef, like, rooting for Kendrick, expecting he would win, right? I didn't even think it would be close, but... I mean, he's making it hard to, like, root for him after Meet the Grams, in my opinion. Like, I was kind of, like, scared listening to that. And it's not even true now. It just left a sour taste in my mouth. I don't know. For a weekend and we fed 
provide you the information. A daughter that's 11 years old, I bet he takes it. We thought about giving a fake name or a destination, but you so thirsty, you not concerned with investigation. For it's real. In studio, it's a celebration. You he had no other information. Be less impatient. Your fans are rejoicing, thinking this is my expiration. Even the picture you use, the jokes and the medication, the Maybach glove and the drug he uses for less inflation. Master manipulator, you bid on a speculation. You dumb and reactive, nigga. I'm petty with dedication. What about the bones we dug up in that excavation? And why isn't Whitney denying all of the allegations? Why is she following Dave Free and not Mr. Morale? You haven't seen the kids in six months. The distance is wild. I will keep saying it. Whoever's telling the truth more wins the beef. A lot of dick riders are like, oh, Kendrick's winning easily. A lot of dick riders are like, Drake's winning easily. I'm not. I <laughs> I'm, I think it's a tie, bro. Like, I don't understand how people can just pick one side and, like, not even acknowledge the other one's POV, you know? Like... Drake is denying everything. He has a rebuttal for everything Kendrick has said. Kendrick has not released a diss track yet responding to anything Drake has said, except Euphoria. And that's why it took so long for Euphoria to drop, I assume. Because he just pre-recorded everything and dropped it all at once. I don't think that's how you do a rap beef, in my opinion. I don't like that. Everything Drake has dropped has been a direct response to something Kendrick has said in a diss track. I'll leave it at that. But that's like a huge one up for me. I just can't get past that. Years and six months, the distance is wild. Dave leaving heart emojis underneath pics of the child. Speaking of anything with a child, let's get to that now. This Epstein angle was the shit I expected. TikTok videos you collected and dissected. Instead of being on some disdirect shit, you rather fucking grab your pen and misdirect shit. My mom came over today and I was like, Mother I, Mother I, Mother I, wait a second. That's that one record where you say you got molested. Oh, fuck me. I just made the whole connection. This about to get so depressing. This is trauma from your own confessions. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, Mother I Sober. Duh. Oh, my God. It should be noted that Kendrick makes it explicitly clear in the song that he wasn't molested. <laughs> Regardless, Drake figures that Lamar is projecting this trauma when he accuses Drake of being a pedophile. Oh, Drake was refusing to say so the word sober when he was stuttering. Maybe him implying that the track was so boring that he can't remember the title. Anyway, that's the track he's talking about. So It's also crazy that Whitney follows Day Free and not Kendrick. It, if that's, like, I know it's just social media, like, it doesn't really mean anything, but, like, that's just a crazy thing to point out. Record where you say you got molested. Oh, fuck me. I just made the whole connection. This about to get so depressing. This is trauma from your own confessions. This when your father leave you home alone with no protection. So neglected. That's why these pedophile raps and shit you so obsessed with is so excessive. They're acting like it's so aggressive. But you just never known affection. I don't want to dish you anymore. This really got me second guessing. Touch my body by Mariah Carey play. You probably start reflecting. I never been with no one underage. But now Holy I shit. what is the angle that you really mess with. Holy shit. Just for clarity, I feel disgusted. I'm too respected. If I was fucking young girls, I promise I'd have been arrested. I'm way too famous for the shit you just suggested. But that's not the lesson. Clearly oh my God. God. Deep cuts that never healed and now they got infected. Oh like my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. He's getting like he's pushing it almost as far as he can. Like Oh, I have goosebumps. That was crazy. He just kept going. So he just denies directly all this pedophile shit and like i don't know if i believe it bro drake has done some really weird things um <laughs> like it might not be to the extent that kendrick made it out to be i shouldn't say no way i just refuse to believe he is on the level as weinstein like an epstein like that is just crazy that's the extreme like i just like he said he's too famous if he was doing this shit it would have gotten out i feel like
I don't want to say that's like a great point that but that's pretty baller to say like I'm too famous it would have come out like there is some truth to that um pushing his motive farther he already said the stuff about Dave Free but now he's just doubling down <laughs> got infected like if Dave really fucked your girl and got her pregnant talk about breeding resentment not sure how to ease the sentiment the shit's too intimate I'm praying you recover from both incidents but you a piece of shit so this shit really no coincidence Drake is not a name that you gonna see on no sex offender list easy does it you mentioned an A minor but niggas gotta be sharp and tell the fans who was it you thought you left D flat D major I'll slit your throat with the razor and do ri- He needs to stop with that shit. That is not winning you any beef, bro. Stop talking about the leaked video. I... <laughs> the <laughs> and it, all of this was just put right in front of Drake's face. Like, it was such a layup to do the, the keys. <laughs> the keyword play. Oh my god. C sharp and then D major. Because apparently his dick is big and I will not watch the video and I don't want to. So what is he gonna say about Rick? Fans, who was it? You thought you left D flat D major. I slit your throat with the razor and do Rick Ross hair like that one flight from Malaysia. I'm your baby mama screensaver. Only fucking with Whitney's, not Millie Bobby Browns. I never look twice at no teenager. I'm a fucking hit maker, dog, not a peacemaker. Yeah, bullets that I'm stuffing in each chamber. Go ass in extreme danger. Stop buying views and buy comments. You may as well keep the paper. Shit you about to need for later. I give a fuck about your Yo. streaming data. You could drop a hundred more records. Yo, I just caught that, bro. He said, fuck buying views. You should buy comments. Because I think he's saying you need more people to dig up dirt on me in order to just straight up believe it without fact checking and say more shit about me that is crazy streaming data you could drop a hundred more records i'll see you later yeah maybe when you meet your maker i don't want to fight oh. a woman beater it feeds your nature if you still bumping our kelly Ooh. you would thank the savior said if they deleted his music and your music is going to a hypocrite i don't understand why these people praise you sounding like you sent him commissary when he needs some paper album dropping soon no wonder you turn a cloud chase instead of doing for real Nigga, I see you when I see okay you i saw like a whole like breakdown of this like kendrick just starts this shit whenever he's getting ready to drop or right after he drops an album to like promote the album you know it's kind of like what kanye does but not as extreme you know <laughs> but like at least kanye has mostly been sticking to like um listening parties and listening concerts instead of like really bad um publicity <laughs> but he is definitely guilty of doing a lot of that too my label nigga i see you when i see you like fantasia whitney you can hit me if you need a favor when I say I hit your back, it's a lot safer. <laughs> Holy promise. shit. Yo. I'm not gonna lie, this shit was some some good exercise. Like it's good to get out, get the pen work through. This instrumental you is be a worthy crazy. competitor if I was really a predator and you weren't fucking lying to every blogger and editor, but Oh my it is. god, he's just talking to you him now. Got this shit burnt the fuck out though, like you got 10 more records to drop that's what i the said for the last one we finessed you into telling a story that doesn't even exist oh my god and you go and drop the west coast one to try and cover that up i would like that one that, that, that would be some shit i could dance to if he wasn't tripling down on some whole other bullshit but you know at least your fans are getting some raps out of you i'm happy i can motivate you bring you back to the game like yeah you know but just let me know when we get into the facts. Everything in my shit is facts. I'm waiting on you to return the favor, like. Oh my god, I didn't think you would just straight up. Oh my god, that was the craziest part. When he speaks to you directly, not even rapping or rhyming, like, what do you do? Oh my god. <laughs> I think I'm more speechless from this than Meet the Grams. I... I... 
I really want to defend Kendrick. <laughs> but it's like, he's denying it so much, and he's right. There's no proof at all. There's still no proof that Kendrick beats his wife, though. That's the big thing I'll say. At least that I've seen. Let me know otherwise, but... And then the Dave Free stuff, like... Drake claims it's facts, but, like, Drake could just be lying about everything. He could even be lying about the stuff he's denying, you know? So I just don't know what to believe until I see proof. But, like, Drake touched on everything, and he said exactly what everyone's thinking. I think this takes the cake so far. I kind of said it in previous videos, but, like, I kind of felt like Drake was winning already until Meet the Grams came out, and then I was iffy still. But this takes the cake, in my opinion. I... Man. Because really, like, it really just comes down to Kendrick never dropped a diss track that directly addressed anything Drake said. Like, they, they weren't responses, which is, like, a big detriment to the rap beef. And then also, it's getting saturated, bro. I said that in the Not Like Us video. I was like, okay, this is, like, Kendrick's, what, fourth song in the last, like... 72 hours like i'm kind of over it like he's kind of said everything he's needed to and a lot of it wasn't even true and that's where we kind of stand so until kendrick pulls out the facts like drake said <laughs> i think it's i think i got drake winning bro i didn't expect drake to do this well like we kind of just all forgot he was a rapper <laughs> because of the other music he makes and how mainstream he is but man all right guys thank you so much if you're still here because i definitely ranted a little bit and this is like my eighth video on the beef they got me working overtime but i will continue to react to anything surrounding the beef so i will see you guys in the next one i hope it's not today because i've just been putting in overtime um but have a great week and i will see you next video peace